Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it's my Android 4 here, and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles X. As last time, we went on to Chapter 7, I think it was? Uh, yeah, Chapter 7. We went to Chapter 7, and took care of that. Pretty difficult so far. I actually had to, you know, take two sessions to actually complete the thing, because the first session, I decided to, you know, called a break because I was under leveled, the second half I did off screen to level up more so I'd be ready for then. And yeah, that was not exactly a pleasant time for me. It also wasn't pleasant when I found out, you know, that we actually had level requirements for the next chapter, which I'm pretty sure they, well up until then, they've been doing, hey, if you're level 1, great, you're good to go. Which annoys me, but if you need, you know, more verification as to why, Go check out the previous six episodes, because, yeah, that can uh, detail a little better. But uh, at any rate, today, we got ourselves yet another progress requirement episode to get to the actual chapter once again. And today, one that is actually kind of unique, at least the way I see it. For this mission, the matchmaker, you actually need to have an affinity, uh affinity link with someone. Now, in previous affinity missions, at least as far as I can remember, well, for the ones that are basically required for chapter or story progression, you didn't have requirements like this. You need to, you know, get affinity with some character. Rather, it was just, hey, be at a certain level, you're good to go. And then, of course, just have the certain amount of members, and then you're good to go. Uh, but no, this is actually a good exception to the rule. And believe me, it took me a while to actually get the affinity rank for Lau. Uh, but I, I got done. Thankfully, the missions are good at increasing your affinity rank. So go and complete those if you need some help to get this thing started. But, with all that said, we are level 32 and 33, the quiet level is 24. This should go by pretty quickly. So without further ado, let's jump on into this. Well, this leads to... Because last time I've checked, Lau is not much of a ladies' man. Hey, look who's here! Thanks again for the help last time. Huh? When did you work with Elma's team? Uh, when a certain someone decided to just wander off and leave us high and dry? Oh yeah? Well, I hope whoever it was got chewed out good. Looks like I owe you one, Elma. Order something if you like. My treat. Really? cha -ching? Uh, how I've missed you so much, my friend. Filled to bursting with food and joy. Lau is good and generous, friend. You yeah, generous. I said order something, not everything. It's okay. <laughs> Next meal, it'll be Tatsu's turn. So, Shingo, you gonna say something? Go ahead and ask. I'm sure these ladies will give you better advice than I can. Having trouble with something? Oh, uh, I... it's not. Ooh, I know. Shingo has a crush on someone. <laughs> Wait, what? How'd you know? Oh, ho, ho. snap! On. Seriously? Say it's written all over his face or shrug. Say you had no idea. I honestly had no idea that he was crushing on. Well, I used to make an assumption based on the chapter. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, froze there for a second. I kind of freaked out. Oh my gosh, it's it's so not that hard. obvious. How do you not see it? I get that a lot. If you're done making the poor man sweat, why don't you hear him out? Well, but look, if this is about winning a girl's heart, Lau oh, really? is probably the guy you want to ask. He knows you a lot better than we do since you work together and all. Plus, he was married, so he can. Yeah, don't go into that. Sorry, Shingo. I should get going. Uh, right. Of course, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Th thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. We don't really talk about Lao's family. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to... Tell her not to worry about it or cheer her up. Try to make her smile. It's alright. Don't worry about it. You didn't know. Thanks. I still feel like a total oaf, though. Hey, you didn't know! He wasn't angry, Lin. You heard him wish Shingo luck. Yes, yes! 
Angry loud, not talk like that. At least unless he's clenching Thanks, his teeth. Guys. Yeah, so if you don't mind, I really do need some advice on this. I'm at the end of my rope. Sure, whatever we can do to help. And here we have the matchmaker. She knows I've taken a liking to someone. And you've agreed to give him some advice on how to approach her. Oh boy. I hope this is mainly centered towards Lynn or Elma, because I have no experience with romance of any sort, and I'm in high school, so that should say something uh, about my personality. But yeah, I'm not much of a romantic type. Anyway, right, uh, head to the north, Founder Street in the commercial district. Alright, where's the... Oh, that's where we are. Uh, I probably should also mention, as I'm recording this, it's been about... Let's see. Today is the 28th for me, so it's been four days since I've done a recording for uh, for the game. Yeah, with all Christmas Eve and hanging out with my family, I've been a pretty busy kid. And oh, that was quick. Yeah, but yeah, I've been pretty busy, so I'm kind of out of the loop a bit. So that's her, huh? And you say her name's Dorothy? She's beautiful. Oh, gosh. Thanks. Not quite sure what you're taking credit for <laughs> there, but okay. Tatsu will go and ask Pretty Lady for her favorite food. Stand you down, Tatsu. You... Man, she's too beautiful. She'll never go oh, to a like me. If only I could make her happy somehow. Say he should go get her presents. Or tell him to confess his undying <laughs> Um, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a romantic type, but I'm pretty sure that's the worst thing you can, uh, do. If you try and pester her about that kind of stuff, she's gonna be, uh, turned away. So, I suggest getting her presents. Maybe some kitty catnip for cats? What? Just out of the blue? Shouldn't that's I too obvious. Dinner dates are nice and all, but any schmo can ask a girl out. A surprise gift? Now that'll leave an impression. You sure it's not weird? Unusual, maybe, but that's not necessarily bad. If the way she's dressed now is any indication, she's obviously into fashion. Why not give her a little accessory when you ask her out? A bracelet or something? <gasps> that's perfect! Well, there you go! I bet you'll love it! Alright, I'll give it a try. Uh... Where am I supposed to find nice jewelry here on Mira? Tatsu have an idea. Cowardly friends should get pretty lady a shiny rock. That how Tatsu dead upon win the heart of Baba Pond. Hey, not bad. Kind of oh! for a nopon. Meh. Says friend who need whole team to ask out girl. <laughs> what does friend think of this? What is that? Oh, that's lovely. It no pun matchmaking stone. Super valuable. Worth more than almost. What exactly is that in terms of actual value it though? Seems like a winner to me. Let's go track one down. We'll need someone to set it in a bracelet once we've found it. There's a jewelry shop in the commercial district. We can try bringing it there. Okay then, so talk to Omari on the West Melville Street. So just gotta head on straight forward! Adio! Move on out, people! Da dum da da dum da 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 it's relatively close, so this should not be much of a jog. Yep, come on. Wait. Ah, there he is. Omari. Buddy, how's it going? Now this is a stunning specimen. It better be, considering what we had to go through to get it. So, uh, how much to put that in a bracelet? Sorry. Why not? What? Why not? I tested its hardness. That rock put wow. the diamonds to shame. So that's pretty Seriously? valuable. I'd really like to help, but my tools just can't handle it. Sorry. Man, what the heck? 
Surely you can figure something out. And after what we exactly was the item that we had to get anyway? Never imagined it couldn't be done. Just because our tech can't handle it doesn't make it impossible. I met a man on Craftsman a while back who works with rare minerals. He's not cheap, but he's good. Why don't I introduce you? Sir, that would be amazing. Um, Lau? About before. I know you've been working hard to help out one of my crew, Lin. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. How about letting me join the fun from here? Bring it, matchmaker Lau! Yeah. But yeah, I'm curious now. Because based on that, the little conversation before, I'm guessing we grab the item then. Like, we already had the item in our place, and now we could actually get the story moved on. So, for anyone who hasn't uh, actually got that item prior, and then did this mission, let me know, what exactly is the item that we were supposed to collect? Because I'd really be curious to figure it out, and if I figured it out, I could probably just make some kind of comment on how rare it is. I don't know. Then again, by the time I get the comment, it'll be a while, so... Well... So either way, comments are appreciated. Moving on, though. Ah, yeah. oh, I'm hardcore parkour! And I'm falling. Did not mean to do that. Let's focus on where we are. Where do we need to head? Ah, oh, just the man on the ship. Pretty easy. I'll take the starboard route. Because I do not feel like trekking all the way to the barracks to teleport here. And it's just a matter of going... down. Yep. Going down? Where is it? We're right in the vicinity of this thing. Oh, don't tell me. There's a guy who he needs to talk to. Oh, talk to Jehero. Wait, didn't we just pass that guy? Wait, I think we just passed him. That's gotta be him. Let me get back up there. Come on! Okay, parkour back up! I cannot parkour back up. Uh, staircase. Let's go, let's go up on that. And I'll try this, we'll try this again. Let's try this again. Come on. Ba 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 da ba 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 da 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 Is there any other staircase we can go up? Nope. Oh, well, I guess this works. Come on. And Skadoosh! Ooh, don't fall off yet. Alright. Wow, all that trouble for this guy, whoever he is. Uh, let's try some- No! Oh! For a second I didn't think I was gonna make it! What? Ah! And I just got a brief glimpse of someone with a green exclamation point. Yep, right up there. Let's get back up. Come on. Where's that staircase? Yeah. yeah. Let's jump on up. Jump left. And you must be the person we're talking to, or you're completely unrelated. Nope, you are related, alright. So how's it look? Oh boy. Uh, how much are we talking? Let's say ten of your human senses. If that works, that's it? Seriously? Wait, that's it? Seriously? It's th it's that easy. Or some army pizzas on the West Melville Street. Man, these guys' terms for value is pretty low, but hey, better than ten hundred thousand grand or something. Because uh, I do not want to pay all my uh, future college fund into a freaking ring. If you get what I'm trying to go for. But yeah, I'm curious now. What is their value? Or well, obviously they just said ten pizzas worth for trying to fix that rare, rare thing. That's very, very tricky. So, what would pizza be considered in terms of actual currency? Because if so, then, um... Hey, 
Yeah, those guys can get... Or, hold on. How do I say this? We'll see. Pizza to them is very rich. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, like, they can pay thousands of credits just for a single piece of pizza. And you can just get rich quick. That'd be pretty awesome. Here's the deal. Uh, you're the right person, right? Uh, yes, you are. Welcome to Army Pizza. You here for a pie? Hmm, you need to hand deliver it as soon as possible? That's what, for just 10,000 credits, we'll send your piping hot pizzas anywhere in New LA. How about anywhere on New LA? Cause we're heading to the man on ship, and yeah, this, this doesn't bug me that much. Look at this. We have a. Let's see. There it is, right? Yeah, we have a million credits. I think we'll be fine. Almost two million, actually. Thank you so much. And these are headed to Jeshiro's place, huh? Right? We'll have them there before the cheese begins to cool. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I personally like my, uh... My food's cold to an extent. Depending on what it is. For example, uh, sandwiches? Love them cold. Pizzas? Eh, fine with them, whatever. I like them cold mainly, but I can eat them both ways. Uh, but... Maybe say... Ice cream? Maybe? If it's like purely frozen solid? I'd probably warm that stuff up a bit. Moving on... Back to the starboard! Front and center! Let's see, where do we need to go again from here? Oh, it's right there, so just go down right here. And then just jump down a story. Or no, wait, no, never mind, never mind. It's just right there, right in front of us. So all that parkour for nothing, then. Uh, from earlier, I mean. Huh. Hey! I got your hot pizza deposit, you know! My whole family Yay! with happiness! Your family, huh? So you'll make the bracelet, then? I gave you my word, remember? I promise it'll be more stunning than even the finest Earth pizza! Yeah, hopefully. Um... Cause our value is much higher than pizza. Um, the bracelet is finished, if that's okay! Man, Bruh. he's gonna love this! Oh, hallelujah! Thank you all so much! I'm going to go Oh, this is gonna be right interesting. I'm glad that worked out. I really Fingers hope crossed. Yes after all this. Should we go see? Are yeah. we really doing this? We're actually doing this. <laughs> okay. Let's see how the ship crashes and crashes and burns, or possibly succeeds. I don't know. I cannot read the rules of romance for the life of me. As I mentioned uh, about ten minutes ago. But yeah, this is a pretty short mission so far. I mean, it'll probably take a lot of time if you had to actually get that item that was, uh, unknown earlier, but... Mm, then again, you never know. I mean, heck, we're near the 20 min mark, and we're this far into the thing. So, I guess that says something. Oh, also... I forgot all about this thing. Especially that I need to customize it more, a little more. Um, you know, color-wise, and... I like how the cutscene begins when I just ram right into it. Wow.